Hi there, this is a quick tip for how to return multiple values from a single function. So I have this scene here with a zombie just hanging around, and when I click on the mouse button, there is an explosion that should damage him. So I can click somewhere, and if it's within a certain distance, it deals damage, if it's far away, it does not. So let's see the code. So over here is the script running on the scene, and here we're simply doing on our update, testing if the left mouse button is down. If so, we spawn the explosion on the mouse worm position. On the spawn explosion, we simply instantiate the prefab on that position. Then we use this function to test if the zombie should be hit, and if so, we trigger damage. Now in this function, we receive the zombie position and the explosion position. Then we simply do a distance check between the zombie position and the explosion position. And if it is within a certain range, then we return true, if not, return false. Okay, so this works pretty simple. If the player is within this distance, he won't take damage. If not, he will not. However, now let's say we want the damage to be dependent on the distance of the bomb. And also we want to get a random chance for the bomb to cause a knockback. This function is simply returning a boolean, so right now there's no way to return more information. Now, one way we could do it is by creating a class or struct to hold the various values and return an instance of that class with those values. So for example here make a private struct zombie hit info and inside we would have a public bool for hit then a public in for damage amount and a public bool for cause knockback. So we could do this and return this object in there. So this would work but there's another way that does not require us to define another different struct or class. So instead of that we have our function it still returns a boolean and in here we can add several other parameters and all we need to do is add the out keyword. So for example an int for the damage amount and a bool for the cause knockback. The out keyword means we're going to modify these parameters inside this function so we can access them outside. So if he's far away we simply set the damage amount to zero since it's not going to cause damage and the cause knockback we also set it to false. So as you can see, the error disappeared since if you are using the out keyword, you must set those variables before you exit the function. So in here, let's make the damage amount dependent on the distance. So here we are defining the damage amount based on the distance to the zombie to the explosion. So if he is right on top, he takes 50 damage. If he is right at the edge, he only takes one damage and we are simply defining a 50% chance to cause a knockback. So then in here, in order to use these parameters, we need to first create some variables to hold our values. So in here, before we call the function, we define an int for the damage amount and a bool for the cause knockback. And here, when we do our function call, we pass in those two and then our out for the damage amount and out for the cause knockback. So the out keyword means that when this function is run, we know that we have some value stored in these two. So in here we can use this damage amount instead of using a fixed value, use the one returned by this function. And if we are cause knockback, we trigger a knockback. Okay, so essentially we have three pieces of data being returned by this function. We've got a boolean if the zombie has been hit, we have the damage amount dependent on the distance to the explosion position, and we have a boolean for the cause knockback. So let's see. Okay, here we are, let's cause damage around here. And there you go, it took a little bit and they knock back, and now there was no knockback, and right on top takes 50, and far away takes nothing, and like that. Okay, so as you can see, this is how you return multiple values from just one function. And that's it. Hope you found this tip useful. Alright, see you next time.